Okay, what's up guys, this is Flydorz here, and I'm here bringing my final impressions on the beta for Jump Force, even though it was like 17 characters, 5 stages whatsoever. Uh, there was a loading screen for like 3 minutes I think, 3, three to 2 minutes of loading screen, and then uh, and then you got the standard one bars in the bottom, in the bottom, and you could avoid a combo by pressing L1, so it kind of drains the whole entire standard one, so you can't really dash forward, which is L1 as well. And there is a couple of times where I get my buttons mixed up with the L1 and R1 with R1 to block and L1 to move forward because like you don't really find that confusing. And then uh even other abilities like like your your like uh like a Chidori or a Fireball or uh like a fire sikonomi well not fire sikonomi, uh like a Sasuna uh a a Sasuna, the fire last Sasuna from Sasuke. Um there's a couple of times where, where where it doesn't really does enough damage. Like for for some reason you like like if you use it, but like like it'll do damage once, and then it can you just like block it, and then they'll and then it will stay there, but it won't do no effectiveness to the opponent. I don't believe so, but still, the other part is that there is some major uh some major super heavy armor so you could be like someone will be charging Kakama half from Goku and you could punch him but it won't do no effect to like oh you're punching me so I'll start using my attacks technically or even Naruto's Rasengan or even this one time where I attacked together where it was uh, Naruto's Rasengan and Saku Shidori and my Rasengan won over his Shidori which should have been cancelled but it kind of made no sense technically but I was like okay whatever uh the other part is that the uh, switching partners and kind of assist because it's only for one button, which is pretty confusing. Because when it goes, because technically they're saying that they're putting fusion together with Naruto Storm 4 and then a different one like the Dragon Ball Universe 2 in a way, which should have been more different chaotically. Like, 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 I know you got all these other buttons, alright, cool. But in Naruto Storm 4, you press triangle and X to move forward, and it doesn't really count kind of stamina. And if you want to use this escape thing with yeah, they should add another bar saying like, oh, you need to, to in order to escape, you need to have like a certain number of these things. So I mean, like, shit. Um, the other part is that I kind of didn't know how to play this game, even though they told you like the like the buttons and stuff once you log in, but I didn't give a fuck, so I was kind of struggling. The um, the other part is that there's so many characters that have uh, like set up like 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 a setup super. Like you press R2 and circle as a setup super. They want the opponent to attack in order for you to do a counter attack, which it does to some other shit. So it's kind of dumb in a way. Like 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 you got you got a fast one with a square, you got a somewhat heavy uh somewhat fast heavy one with a triangle, then you got circle which is kind of like a counter button kind of way. Like 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 go like 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 like, like, like there's a couple of times where you could have Goku set up in a position being ready to freaking fly or to freaking counter which it kinda looks like blocking from my point of view when I was doing it. So it kinda didn't make no sense. And and so and so there was times where, where I was more like like okay is he gonna counter is that gonna do it or there's even other times where like you're so freaking far away and Goku's like 30 feet away from you, 20 feet away from you, for example, and you think he's charging you, but instead of charging you, he hits you with a Kaioken punch in the face. So, I'm kind of like, what the heck? I wish they could, like, zoom out the screen a little bit and not make it so up close to your character that you're playing as. And. And I know that, that this game's not even out yet, like in noise. And I do like the part where like like oh you can press circle to break their guard or you can hold circle to send them fine and it'll break the guard anyway. So that's that, that's something pretty cool in a way, but I also wish that the grab could be a little more quicker and not be like Oh, I'm punching, 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 I'm gonna go use the grab real quick, even though it's like you need to be very fucking like close to the opponent just to do it so it kind of makes no sense and and for the switching mechanic which I wish there was two buttons but it's not this should be a different thing where like like if you tap it kind of assist and if you hold it you switch instead they flip it around where it says like if you tap it you switch and hold this to call out assist so it's kind of like what the fuck in a way but but uh 
it's it's what it is. I wish I could just switch it. I know you could switch it yourself when the game comes out. That'd be pretty good as well. But like you know, um, other than that, that's pretty much it. Maybe there was a couple frames delay, kind of though, but not much. Uh, also the final day when I was playing this game, I was fighting a Vegeta opponent. I rushed forward and Vegeta jumped up in the air and used his gunning gun up in the air. And I was kind of wondering if that was possible or not because. I jumped when this guy was when the when Vegeta was using the uh, Gatling gun. So and that was Goku. And I was trying to jump up and then dash forward to go above his beam, but yet somehow I just still hit me with those going forward. So kind. Of, so I guess it's not freely moving like 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 like, like it ain't freely moving when you're when you're playing like like like, like a two D fighter like like an anime style like Blaze Blue. Uh, the uh, tag, like, play blue tag, where, 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 where you like, you could jump up and then go forward, you could avoid it, and then, and then if you can't avoid it, you could always block it in mid, in mid air. But in this one, you need to take a block in the ground or try to do something else when you're like there, basically. Because L1 is really weird, R1 is like you can block, but then the blocking is so instantly quick that like you can't really, like, you're having someone a hard time to do it. So technically, my point, what I'm trying to see is that it wants to be a 3D anime fighter moving really quick to do it, but then there's a button delay when you're trying to press a button to do it. So you'll be pressing like square, 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 hold R2 so you can hit that Rasengan. But instead of hitting that Rasengan, you're just pressing regular buttons and not hitting the Rasengan because you need to, because you need to stop and then press the R2 square just to hit that Rasengan. So it's kind of like, what the hell? But. Either way, that's pretty much it. I'll leave that to you guys and enjoy the rest. Goodbye. Thank you, na. Minna ga iru kara. Koko made tsuyoku nareta nda. <laughs> 